there are some places that we generally won't stay. Yes. Um, namely, KOAs. Yes. Well, this is round two mm -hmm. of the collaboration where we are working with five other YouTube channels. Yes. And what we basically do is once a month we get on here, we pick a topic, and at the same time, on the same day, we release a video mm -hmm. and give our take on that topic. And this month's topic is how we book campgrounds and kind of our tactic and why we book certain places at certain times and all that cool stuff. And I'm pretty sure our, our priority levels are different than the other channels too. So I'm interested in seeing theirs. So. I am interested also. And we will leave a link to all of those channels down below so that as soon as you get done watching this video, you can go mm -hmm. get their take on it. Because we not only have full timers, we have part timers, weekenders. Most timers. Yeah. So this group is pretty diverse. Yeah. So I'm sure these videos are going to be very different. Yes. Um, so how do we choose to book? Well, first of all, who books? You or me? Well, <laughs> you physically book them. Yes, but we work but together. But we look for them together. Yeah. But you, you are the one who calls and books it, or if it's a thousand trails, you go book online online. and book it. Yeah, and the way that we choose where we're going is, so basically about six months out, we, we figure out where we're gonna be, yeah. and so we backwards plan from there. Mm -hmm. So we find the route that we're gonna take, and then we start looking along that route because we prefer to travel no more than three to four hours a day. Yes. And we prefer to stay one to two weeks at a time. Mm -hmm. So we have to, from where we are to that end point, we have to time those stops. Yes, we have to know how many weeks right. it takes to get there. Yes, and the reason that we like to stay one to two weeks is because it's a cheaper w rate to stay weekly than it is daily. And we don't like to stay monthly because... <laughs> it's just too long. We get, we get antsy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So now we're going to talk about the priority of where we book. Okay. First is obviously Thousand Trails because we get to stay for free. free. Like free. Yeah. So we have completely <laughs> paid off our uh, initial investment mm -hmm. in what we use to purchase Thousand Trails. And so now every time we stay, it is completely and totally free. Yeah. So... If there is one of those along that route, or even close to close that to route, it, yeah. we will work around that and try to stay at those thousand trails. Yeah. Next is military, because mm -hmm. it's just cheaper, cheaper than staying in a private campground or anywhere else. Yeah. So if we don't have thousand trails, we will start, try to stay at military. We know that's not an option for everybody, but for us it is, and it's yeah. cheaper for us. So that's number two. And I would say after that, it's kind of... Uh, we don't have a preference on priority. No. Then it starts being more about price, convenience, convenience. Yeah. Uh, how many attractions are close by. Yes. Is, uh, you know, if you're staying for, you know, two weeks, you want to stay in a place that has more stuff more to do. Things. Yeah. You know, if there's uh, not a lot to do, we'll only stay about a week. Yeah. There are a ton of options out there. So you have like the private campgrounds, state parks, national mm -hmm. parks, Corps of Engineers, City parks, boondocking, yes. Harvest Host, Passport America. There's just a ton of different places that yeah. you could possibly stay. And uh, some of those do military discounts, and we mm -hmm. would take advantage of those if we could. But because we usually stay for one to two weeks, they usually only give their military discount on a daily rate, not yeah, on a night, weekly rate. The, yeah. Weekly rates are already discounted, so they're like, yeah, appreciate your service, but. You only get one discount. Yeah. <laughs> There are some places that we generally won't stay. Yes. Um, namely, KOAs. Yes. Big time resorts. Yes. Like, the word resort deters <laughs> me, but sometimes we have to check a little harder because some that say resort tr aren't really resorts. Yeah. But... And the reason that we don't stay at KOAs and that we don't stay at these bigger resorts, so there's a few reasons. A, it's just super expensive. Yes. And if you're there for one or two nights, no big deal. But we stay weekly. Yeah. Big deal. So it is quite expensive to stay at those places. Yeah. And generally pretty busy, pretty full. Yes. Generally lots going on as far as like kids, animals, people. It's very people-y. 
very people because there's a lot to offer at those kind of resorts and that's another reason that we don't stay at these because we generally don't take as much of an advantage of the amenities yes so for us the cost is not worth the stay exactly. we just want a place to stay because yeah. home is home no yeah. matter where we park it so for yeah, us exactly. it's not about the amenities we're not camping we're living <laughs> <laughs> exactly therefore it's not a priority yeah. And there are some campgrounds that we cannot stay at. True. We're not allowed. <laughs> We're, not We're allowed. in our 40s, so we can't stay at any campgrounds that are 55 and older. Yeah. And we can't stay at any campgrounds that are like motor coach only resorts. Yes. Which we've run across a lot of those, especially like down south, Arizona, Florida, you'll run into stuff like yeah. that. So um, we just don't even look at those. Another thing that we do is um, in, in our research is we'll look on, on Google Earth. Mm -hmm. And we will see like ease of use. Ease of use is a big deal. Can we get in and out? Can we get in and out? Without testing our yeah. patients. Is it going to be <laughs> a whole big deal? Do they have pull-throughs? Mm -hmm. We will pay extra. I will absolutely pay for extra. For pull-throughs because I just don't like to back in. It's just a pain in the butt. Especially yeah. the 90 degree back ends. I'm just not a fan. Nope. So we will pay a little bit extra. So mm -hmm. price is not necessarily our number one priority. No. Sometimes we will pay a lot extra <laughs> for ease of use and to be closer in proximity to attractions. And that especially plays a big factor now because of gas money. Yes. Our travel bubble, like our adventure bubble, I'll yeah. call it. I like that. <laughs> our adventure bubble, normally where we're, where we're camped at, we would explore within like an hour perimeter of that anywhere yeah. in that unless it was some really freaking cool yeah but then now we'll go further. gas money so our adventure bubbles shrink a little bit we're used. not willing to go as far out it better or be it's, really yeah, cool it's got to be really cool for us to get out there <laughs> so the other question is how far out do we book and plan a lot <clears throat> we try to book out as far as we can because like i said we are no not planners. campers we are livers yes. and we have to make sure that we have a place to live and stay. Yes. So it's not, we don't have the luxury of saying, oh, that place is full. Okay. Well, we'll just try to book it another time. Yeah. Another weekend. We don't get to do that. So just to give you an idea, currently right now, as we're speaking, we are booked five months out. Yes. Well, that's it. That's how we book. Yep. How we get it done. <laughs> it may not be pretty, but it works. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, <laughs> It's just one of those things that's not the funnest things that we do in our full-time RV yeah, no, life. Yeah, I don't enjoy that. But it's a necessity. Yeah. And it's for us, we got we got to plan out as far as we can. Well, oh. we are we are looking really forward to going and watching these other channels. And yes, see I'm coming. I'm very curious how they prioritize their booking. <laughs> yeah, and if they even if, strategize, are they winging it? They I, could be winging they it. They could be winging it. Yeah. <laughs> So we will leave a link in the description to mm -hmm. all of those channels. So make sure after you get in here, go over there and watch their, their videos. Stick around for a few seconds because we're going to honor a fallen hero. Mm -hmm. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is down in the description of this video. We appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.